In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 16, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 16, listen carefully. The Bible says, What? Know you not that he which is joined to an allot is one body? For two, saith he, shall be one flesh. In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 2 to 3, 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 2 to 3. The Bible says, listen carefully. For I am jealous. The Bible says, For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy. For I have espoused you to one husband, that I may present you as chaste virgin to Christ. 3. But I fear, lest by enemies, as the serpent beguiled evil through his subtlety, so your minds should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. Close your eyes. Say this prayer point loud and clear. Say, any dream, say, any power forcing me to have sex in the dream, I destroy it in the name of Jesus. Any power forcing me to have sex in the dream, I destroy it in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You're welcome to Evangelist Joshua TV and Evangelist Joshua Animals TV. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe today. Today we are going on a very, very important topic. I mean, a lot of my viewers, my brethren across the world say, Evangelists, we are waiting for this particular topic. Today's topic is 15 side effects of sex in the dream. 15 side effects of sex in the dream. You have been seeing yourself having sex, you know, sleeping with your husband, you know. You see somebody raping you in the dream. You see so many things are happening with you. You don't just wake up as a man where you, you, you discover that you were actually wet. As a woman, you discover that, you know, something funny thing. Just, just find some funny things around you. you. You discover that, how could I be having sex with somebody that I know or somebody that I did not know? Having sex with your father, having sex with your mother, having sex with a goat, having sex with an animal, having sex with a snake, you know, having sex with an un unknown creature. So, by the grace of God, I'm going to tell you the side effect of this sexual dream because normally it's a very, not even bad dream, it's a very, very destructive dream. It's not good for a child of God to be having sex in the dream. Don't allow anybody to deceive you, don't allow any prophet to deceive you that having sex in the dream is good, is good, it's training you how to become, how to, how to have sex with somebody, with your husband, with your spouse in the real life. No. That it is a lie from the pit of hell. So, by the grace of God, I'm going to tell you the 15 side effects. You know, when you take drug and you discover that you are taking the wrong drug in your body, what happened? You begin to see the side effects in your body. Even without knowing, self, you just went to the chemist to go and get a drug. Before you know it, this that is not the drug prescribed to you by a doctor. You want to go and get another drug. You begin to see the side effects in your body. So, that is the reason why I want to talk about the side effects of this dream. Number one. Having sex in the dream can bring health problems. Health problems. Health problems like sickness, like disease, like mostly like infection. You know, you see, so a woman having always seen they say having sex in the dream, when they wake up, they will always have that infection. So this is not good as a child of God. When you see yourself in that category, the first thing you need to do, you need to take your bed, first and foremost, take your bed and say, God, as I'm taking my bed, Father God, I wash away any spirit of pollution in my life in Jesus name immediately go down your knee and begin to pray number two it takes away a man's glory you know when you are having sex in the dream it takes away your glory because there's an exchange of blood of virtues so when you are having sex in the dream you know I see some people once they have sex in the dream they will always have that sex in their real life so this is a spiritual manipulation so it shows that you have a dedicated spirit spouse a spirit husband, a spirit wife that is always having, having fun with you, with your body. As we have read in the Bible, you know, they are having sex with you. So in that area, the side effect is they are taking your glory. You know, the mission of devil is to steal. So they are stealing something from you. You may not know. They could be stealing your money. They could be stealing your wealth, your potentials. They could be stealing that idea as God has given you, you know. They could be stealing your gift, your spiritual power. You may not know. You just wake up. Sometimes many people will just feel empty. Some people will just feel weak, you know, you know, just like a day to the day of their breakthrough. They don't feel that everything just scatter. So it's as a result, they are taking your glory. If they have been taking your glory, I pray it will come back in Jesus. Number three, it introduces poverty into one's, into one's life. Somebody share with me that evangelist, is it wrong? Is it wrong or right? 
for a, for a child of God to be masturbating, not even in the dream, in the real life. No, it's very, very wrong. I'm going to talk more about that as the Lord guide me. So, when you are having sex in the dream, the side effect, whether you are rich or not, it will introduce poverty. A lot of people today, they have money, but they are poor. So, when you are having sex in the dream, it is poverty. It's not just like you are knocking door. To, you are knocking the door of poverty to enter into one's life. Somebody will have money, you will not even know how to use that money. Before you know it, that money is being lavished. It's as a result of this spiritual spouse, spiritual husband or wife that have been dedicated themselves to you. Once they have been dedicated, you won't have time to invest of anything. You'll be wasting your money. I pray. Any power that wants to introduce poverty into your life shall die in Jesus. Number four, it makes a person to be infertile in marriage. We are talking about infertile. I mean, that, that person cannot give birth. That person cannot, if you are a woman, that person cannot even be seen a period a message again as a result of that. As a man, a man would just be having sex with, uh, with, his, with, his, with his wife, but no pregnancy. So that is the result, the side effect of having sex in the dream. It makes a man or it makes a woman infertile in marriage. When you see that a lot of people, they are not getting married, they are not getting pregnant again, it's as a result of this sexual dream. Sexual dream, they will just see the dream, they will just ignore it. It's just a dream, it's just a dream, it's just a dream. You go down your knee and begin to pray that God, I will not be fatal in my marriage. Father, I decree any spirit of impotency in my marriage, infertile infertility, I destroy it in the name of Jesus. Immediately begin to take power and authority over the spirit of witchcraft so that they will not have the last, they will not have the last laugh in your marriage in Jesus. Number five, it creates a connection between you and the devil. So, you know, when you are having sex with your girlfriend, with your boyfriend, there's a connection between you and that person. So, spiritually, there's a connection between you and the devil. There's a connection between you and the spirit spouse. And I don't say, I'm a child of God. I'm a pastor, evangelist. Ah, I cannot have a connection with the devil. No. A lot of pastors, a lot of child of God today, a born again Christian, they are having connection with the devil. They may not know. It is something like this. Dreams like this, they will be seeing God will be revealing things to them. So, when you are having sex in a dream, there's a connection between you and the devil. So until you break that connection, you keep seeing them. You keep seeing yourself having sex. You know, just see that somebody you don't know, somebody you know. How can somebody, you, I'm seeing you having sex with me in the dream. How dare you? God forbid, I reject it in the name of Jesus Christ. So once you, once you have that kind of thing, there's a connection. What do you do as a child of God? You break that covenant. It's a so tie. So tie with the wrong people. As a woman, you'll be getting... You'll be getting involved. You, you'll find out that you, 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 you'll be dating the wrong person. Until when God now opens your eyes that, hey, this person is actually putting problems, sickness into my body. So you break that connection. Number six, it scatters your plans and expectations. It will definitely scatter it. No matter if you are a child of God, a child of this and that, you are a born again Christian, the moment you are having sex in the dream, it will scatter your plans and expectations. I pray, if your plans are to be scattered, the Lord will bring them back together in Jesus. Number seven, it gives room for the devil to manipulate you. Yes, when you are planning to get married and you're always having sex with, in a dream, devil will always manipulate you against your spouse, against your loved ones. So, it gives room for the devil to, you know, to play with you, you know, to mesmerize with your destiny. So, it gives room for the enemy to manipulate you. As a child of God, you need to go down on your knee and begin to rebuke it. That devil, you cannot manipulate me. I am a child of destiny. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I pray. The devil will never manipulate you in Jesus' name. Number eight. Sexual dream causes a man to fall. No matter how strong you are. Who, who, killed, who, fell, who fell in something in the Bible? It was a woman. You know, look at the apostle Ayodele Babalola. Who brought that man down? It was his wife. Spirit's husband. Spirit's wife. We have them many today. So when you are having, as a man, you are having sex in the dream with a woman. Definitely, that person will fall down. The Adamic nature in you will fall, will bring you down. So, what do you do as a child of God? You need to pray. Or you can go for deliverance at Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministry. Closer to you, to pray. Anytime you're always having sex in the dream, it's not, it's not an ordinary dream at all. Ah, ah, I want to let me go and have sex. Let me go to the hotel and go and have sex with a woman, uh, have sex with a man. No. The devil is try, try, actually bringing you down. If you are a rich person today, and you only have sex in the dream, thinking that it's a fun. One day, one day, I pray, may it not never happen to you. All your wet, you just discover that everything just go down the drain. May that not be your portion in Jesus' name. Number nine, it allows a person to get married to the wrong person. If you are getting, if you are, if you are having sex in the dream, it makes you to get married 
to the wrong person. You may not even know just having partnership with the wrong person. Number ten, it makes it makes a person to labor in vain. Yes, it makes a person to labor in vain. You discover that anything you are doing, normally supposed to see success in that thing, you'll be laboring in vain, laboring in vain, laboring in vain. May that not be your portion in Jesus' name. Number eleven, it embarrasses someone's destiny. Sexual dream can embarrass someone's destiny. It will embarrass your destiny. You know, exactly when you wake up from that dream, just say, ah, you were actually wet. It embarrass you. you know, may that not be your portion in Jesus' name. The Lord will restore your destiny in Jesus' name. Number 12. It makes a man not to achieve anything in life. It makes a man not to achieve anything in life. Sexual dreams. No matter what plans you have, no matter the expectation, it makes a person not to achieve anything in life. Number 13. It makes a person to toil around, toil around the circle, toil around the circle. A person will be toiling around without moving forward, without, you know, achieving something, achieving purpose. The person will just be toiling around, toiling around, toiling around. It's as a result of those devils. Number 14. It makes a woman to have a seductive spirit. It makes a woman to have a seductive spirit. That is why in a deliverance ground, when you see a woman in a seductive spirit, you see them, the spirit in them will come out in a seductive way. Trying to, you know, trying to try the, uh, the man of God. So it means that you have a seductive spirit. If you're always having sexual dreams as, as a woman, you have a seductive spirit and you have a spirit husband. Number 15. Number 15. The side effect of sex in the dream, the side effect, it brings down and useless a person's glory. It brings down and useless a person's glory. It brings down and useless a person's glory. I pray for you today. If you have been seeing yourself in this mess, I pray. The Lord will, will build you up and the Lord will break any connection, any side effect of this evil manipulation, this spirit spread over your life in Jesus' name. And back on three days fasting and prayers. If you have always seen yourself in this mess, go on three days fasting and prayer from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point. See, every power disgracing my destiny to this dream die in the name of Jesus. Every power disgracing my destiny to this dream, die in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say anything sexual dream has destroyed in my life, oh God, repair it in the name of Jesus. Anything sexual dream has destroyed in my life, oh God, repair it. Oh God, repair it. Oh God, repair it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Take this last prayer point loud and clear. O oh God of restoration, restore my destiny in the name of Jesus. O oh God of restoration, restore my destiny in Jesus' name. May the Lord restore your destiny today in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'm sure that you are greatly blessed by this broadcast. Share it to your friends and family. If you're not yet subscribed, subscribe today. Once again, this is Evangelist Joshua from Lagos. <laughs>